How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We are looking at Workhorse today because there have been a couple things that have been happening behind the scenes that haven't necessarily been affecting Workhorse directly or people haven't really been paying attention to it, but it is important for the long term. So I want to talk about this. This is going to be, you know, probably my last video for a couple days unless something happens that's crazy. On Friday, I'm recording this Thursday, so definitely stay through to the end because it is some interesting information that not many people have talked about. I have to really go deep into Weeble's comment section to find some of this stuff, but it is really interesting. So if you like this, if you like the Workhorse updates, please leave a thumbs up. If you're bullish on Workhorse, leave a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and it helps out Workhorse eventually down the line. Also, if you want to help support the channel and you want three free stocks through Weeble, you can sign up. They have this for a couple more days where if you sign up and deposit $100, you can get three free stocks. And then if you have some referral to someone else, you get four free stocks. So it's definitely worth taking a look at and considering starting that. So DPHC is the first thing that we have to talk about today before Workhorse because they were actually down almost 6.5% on the day. Now, we actually got confirmation that the merger has gone through, or they approved the merger, I, I should say, and they are paving the way for these two companies, for DPHC and Lordstown, to merge. So this is a good thing. This is something that will propel the company forward. This is something that we've been waiting for a long time. But you do notice DPHC is down on the day that they are actually conducting this, on the day that they decided on this. And I think that is mostly due to the fact that a lot of people are investing in this just for the hype. They don't really care long term. So they thought, okay, it's approved. Today's the day to sell out. So they sell out and there's just a drop. We've seen this over the last month or so. It has not been a great month to invest in DPHC. You can see here, we're actually down about 16% and we were up even higher before that when we were up significantly in the 30s and it's been down pretty much since then. Now, Workhorse did have a good day on Thursday and they were up about 4.5%. We've had a rough couple days where we were actually up to almost $24 a share and are down about 15% since then. We haven't had a good last month here either with it going down from the highs this month about 28%. But I did want to pull your attention to an interesting little article here. So a UPS exec reveals how the pressures of the pandemic can make drone deliveries a reality as it starts flying medical supplies, PPE, and medicine. So as we go along here, they talk about the importance of these pilot programs. They're doing this with CVS and a few major hospital programs and systems using drones to make deliveries and transport critical supplies. So they talk about how the UPS VP of Advanced Technologies explained how the pandemic has highlighted the use for drones. So basically saying that they need to get these types of medicines very quickly. They need to be able to send it out. They need to have some protection. And this has been something that we've been definitely on the lookout for. It says here that they are in the process of working through an integration pilot program with the FAA. So the difficult thing is getting it through the FAA. It says here that there are complex approvals needed and they need to be able to avoid nearby air traffic. This coupled with difficulties of navigating tall and dense developments make it likely that drone deliveries will start out in rural and suburban areas. So this is something that we've talked about with Workhorse before. They do have their drone delivery system. And if we go over here, they actually talk about it here. They've worked with UPS before. And they talk about how they are working specifically with the FAA to be able to get this to the regulations. You can see Workhorse is working closely with the FAA. All deliveries are done in adherence to regulation and under full cooperation of the U.S traffic air control. So this is something that Workhorse has been working on, but I do want to caution you if you are thinking about this and thinking about investing just because of this. We have seen this for a while where the horsefly and Workhorse has been trying to get this passed by the FAA. If you look here, about five years ago, we had this article, FAA authorizes flight test research for Workhorse Group Horsefly UAS. So this has been a long process of us trying to make progress on the horsefly. 
Now, if we go over here, this was actually just released today, but I think it's really interesting. And you can tell here how crazy Workhorse is that we had just five subscribers on this channel and we had 1,500 views in a day. So, I mean, you're talking about just people being pushed to this video. And I'll just play it here for a second for you so you can take a look at it. It goes on a little bit longer, but essentially he's just showing this drone fly and he claims that it is, and we'll actually play the end here as it descends back into the UPS truck. They claim here that it was on October 22. Now, I don't really know if there's a good way of checking this. I mean, you can see it is fall here. Uh, I don't know why they would necessarily lie unless they're just trying to get views or something. But you can see that they are saying this happened recently, that they are testing the drone. It looks pretty good. But of course, this is an open field. It doesn't really look like there's much wind at all here. And it is just flying pretty slowly over. So I will let you make your own decisions on that. But that is something that's interesting to see. I like updated footage. That's always nice. But in the end, I guess we're just going to have to wait for the USPS contract. I mean, I know I hate it as much as everyone else, but I don't think something like this will really push the stock up unless we see them make another deal with some company to try to research it or if they actually can get it cleared by the FAA. But I think there are a lot of companies that are working on this technology. So that is something to keep in mind there. So in the end, I think we're just waiting for USPS. We have to wait to see what happens if the stock price actually goes down a little bit further. I think we'll hit some kind of resistance because of the fact that there is a lot of potential still. This is a very highly speculative play, but I could see a major upside when investing in the stock if we do get a portion of that USPS contract. Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if this was interesting to you. I think that the drone system is interesting. It's Again, another really interesting part of their business that I just hope they can deliver on in the future. Thank you guys. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for checking out the link to Weeble, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.